What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, I was talking to the Heavenly Father, meditating in the Spirit. And he gave me a few scenarios of why we don't have to chase anything in this world. He said, a tree doesn't go searching for water. It waits patiently for God to make it rain. And it doesn't force itself to bloom. It waits patiently for the new season to come. See, the reason why we don't have to chase anything in this world is because the Heavenly Father is going to provide everything we need. And if we wait patiently for God to move on our behalf, if we have patience with his timing, when that new season comes, we're going to be ready. I'm learning in life that if you try to force things to happen that's out of your season, you get premature results. And that can be devastating, especially when the Heavenly Father has a calling over your life. So we can't force relationships. We can't force opportunities. We can't force doors to open. <laughs> because if you force doors to open, then you already know what that is. Breaking and entering. So... If we look at life from that perspective, it's very important to develop what you need in this season that you're in. Take one day at a time. Take one step at a time because God is improving you mentally, spiritually, and physically to be able to handle what he wants you to receive. So the other day, the Heavenly Father spoke to me once more and he said, if you invest time with him, he will invest time with you. And basically what that means is when you spend time with God, that's how you obtain wisdom. He's going to work on your mind, heart, and soul. He's going to teach you things. And guess what? The more you remain in God's presence, the less you have to chase in this world. Because God is abundant. If you need more wisdom, God has it. When God is ready for you to receive certain blessings, guess what? Within his presence, that's how you receive those blessings. When God wants certain things to happen in your life, when you remain in God's presence, when you invest time with him, that's how all these things are added to your life. See, the reason why the Heavenly Father was teaching me about the dangers of chasing after stuff in this world it's because when you think about when people are in trouble, think about the reason why they're in trouble. They was chasing something. Either they was chasing money and certain stuff happened that didn't work in their favor. So they ended up getting locked up or maybe lost their life. People chase after relationships with people that's not working out. So it caused them to fall into depression, anxiety, uh, and it may cause them to do something that they regret later on. Anytime we have to chase after something, you could best believe it's not meant for you. Because that's you trying to force a certain result to happen. See, God told me, if it's meant for you, you never have to chase it. Because if you acknowledge God in all your ways, he shall direct your path. He's going to make the crooked path straight. He's going to place you to where you need to be. We only have one path to follow. And that's the narrow way that leads to life. On that path, you won't become lost. You won't become anxious. And it will definitely not lead you to a place of lack because you're following Lord Jesus. And God has things for your life. And whatever the Heavenly Father has for you, you don't have to chase it because he's going to give it to you. But we got to seek after his righteousness. We got to remain in the presence of God. For when you remain in his presence, you won't be in a place of lack, but of abundance. See, what people 
don't realize at times is that when you seek after stuff in this world, you actually selling yourself short. See, people going to use you for their own benefits. They're going to use your talents, your gifts, in order to put their selves in a better position in life. But when you recognize that when you accept Lord Jesus in your heart, that's the heavenly father place and value from within you. And when you recognize that value, you won't compromise your character. Because now you're a new creature in Christ. Now you have new identity. You have confidence. Because at the end of the day, people lose themselves when they don't recognize the value that they have from within them. When they don't understand what they bring to the table. So they quote unquote become people pleasers. They want to please others. They want to make sure everybody else good instead of making sure they're good. But see, if you work on yourself, that's how you become good for others. When you learn how to love yourself, when you learn how to respect yourself, that's how you develop better relationships with other people. And guess what? When you stand firmly on what you believe in, when you stand firmly on your faith, that's what teaches people how to respect you. But if you don't respect yourself, how can others respect you? If you don't recognize what you bring to the table, guess what? People going to run you dry. So I'm learning that you don't have to do things to impress other people. Don't do things to impress other people. Either they like you or they don't. And a lot of times you recognize who's really for you when you don't have nothing. When you're at the bottom. When you're struggling. The struggle reveals who's real. And when you start to elevate in life, when the Heavenly Father start to place you in certain positions in life, and some of those people that abandon you try to come back, then you already know it ain't real. But at the same time, don't allow that to change your character. You know, the reason why the Heavenly Father can bless you because you know how to forgive. You know how to move on. You know how to let go. You know how to trust God. You know how to have faith. You know how to remain humble in the presence of God. So don't let people change your character as well. But at the same time, don't chase after relationships that's one-sided. So recognize your value. Because the more you work on yourself, the more opportunities going to come to you organically. Because if you work on your mind, if you work on your spirit, if you work on your heart, by giving it all to the Heavenly Father. Because that's how you work on yourself. When you give yourself to the Heavenly Father. When you do that. That's how you increase in your value. And you learn how to appreciate. That quality time. With Lord Jesus. Because that's what matters. At the end of the day. And whatever the Heavenly Father has for you. You don't have to chase it. When you remain in God's presence. So as we journey into this new year we're gonna stop chasing after people that don't want to be around us we're gonna stop trying to force certain relationships that don't want to be had and we're gonna spend a lot more time with the heavenly father because the heavenly father obviously invested time with us because we woke up this morning god wants a relationship with us and he wants us to be in the right relationships with people he wants us to have the right opportunities. And we only gain access to this abundance of life when we remain in God's presence. So in this new year, we're going to spend more time with God and less time chasing the stuff after this world. Because at the end of the day, all this stuff going to perish one day, but the word of God shall remain. Recognize your value. 
I pray this bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.